So Marissa and I have just been through hell. Um, we had food poisoning or something, and I threw up, and I couldn't. Everything was awful. I was very thankful for Marissa, but it's been really hard. We were going to leave today, and. Up too. Just, we were both throwing up. We couldn't keep anything down. I just sat in the shower, like with the shower on yeah, me. Yeah, you in had the middle a really bad night. fever. It was, it was bad, folks. It was. I mean, you know, it's bad when you're freezing cold in Indonesia. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa No Tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places, places we'll go. go. Through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow. Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see. We've been to a country or two or three. Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've, we've had. had. You have you along would make us real glad. So give us a like and, and hit subscribe to join us along our epic ride. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Two Up and Overloaded. If you're just joining our channel for the first time, I'm Marissa Notier. And I am Tim Jackson Notier. And we travel around the world on a motorcycle. We've been doing it for the past six years now. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yes, yeah. and now we are in Indonesia. Yes. Uh, it's been a beautiful country and we've been having a really good time. But we've also had a few setbacks. We've been a little beat up since yes. uh, episode one of landing in Jakarta. We had jet lag for a good for week. For like a week. I just feel like death. And then, yeah, we got a little hurt elbow or hurt wrist. Yes. Well, Marissa just had a tumble. My arm hurts my wrist. Yeah, up to this point, we've been chugging along. We've been seeing beautiful things, but we keep on getting just little jabs by Mother Nature. Yes, and in the last episode, I don't know if it was heat stroke or possibly the pollution really getting to yeah. me, but I was throwing up all night long. We woke up in the morning and decided, you know, we're not in the right physical ability yeah. to have a long, hot day of riding the motorcycle. Uh, we need to be at the top of our game, and so we're gonna stay here another night, but we really wanted to find a different hotel. We needed, we had to find something more. Yeah. This was a little, uh, It just, know. it didn't have all the amenities that we wanted. Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, just kind of like an update about last night. It was just, ugh, and then I was just sick throughout the night. The electricity did come on it was a little at the hotel, Resident but... Evil-esque, you know? <laughs> yes. It was nice, but it looked a little worn, you know? Some of these temples were built same time period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going five minutes away. Um, it's already really, really hot. somewhere nice. It First, took us a long yeah, time to we, find it though. Yeah, we avoided a room with a mouse. I had been so nauseous the night before that any room that had a kind of a stink to it, whether yeah. it was from a person smoking in it before or, me. or just kind of like a moldy concrete smell to it, I was like, no, I, I, I can't. Yeah. stay in this. Um, so it was a little tough to find the right room, but we did. We nailed it. much trial and error we finally found a room that we are going to stay in for the night oh it was such an adventure finding this room we found places that didn't have internet we found places that didn't have air conditioning we found places that one room had a mouse running around in it and i almost went with that room because it did have internet and it had sunlight we had places that looked like caves um, but we are going to be staying here 
and hopefully that'll be good. I miss our children. I miss children. Uh. <laughs> That's a good sign, right? And we met a bunch of really nice children. Siapa nama kalian? Nice to meet you! <laughs> so this bike is from uh, the moon. Probably the coolest paint job in the world. And look at the, the speedometer. Oh Hell yeah, this thing runs on happiness. <laughs> I believe is the name of this town. Everyone's flying kites. So right next door, they made me uh, iced coffee. But she made it in front of me, and then she's got this little stamp machine that puts the top on, which I actually don't like the top, because you can't ever take them off, but then you get a little straw. So, all is well. Wow, how is it? <laughs> but as we stayed in that hotel, figuring that it was just going to be one night of staying there, yeah. we both got really sick. So Marissa and I have just been through hell. Um, we had food poisoning or something, and I threw up, and I couldn't. Everything was awful. I was very thankful for Marissa, but it's been really hard. We were going to leave today, and... Oh, I threw up to everything until there was nothing left. Yeah. Many times in the night, didn't sleep. And now we both feel feverish, but it'll, it'll pass. We got po food poisoning. We yeah. Got, we went out and we ate something. This was Java's revenge, it was. for sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> We just went to Indomart and we got some this electrolyte stuff. stuff. Thank you, Jason, for recommending it. Yeah. It's, and uh, yeah, like Gatorade from Japan. Yeah. And then to get our stomachs back on track, we got some chocolate chip cookies and some Oreos and some crackers. Yeah. Those two days of the most intense part of that sickness, I can barely remember anything. Yeah, I, I was, was just passed out in for bed. 18 hours out of 24. Barely conscious. Yeah. It was a very, very bad bout of whatever sickness we had. Yeah. And I didn't feel like eating for days and days. But at least we were in this wonderful spot. Good morning. We are feeling a bit better today. That's so poopy. Yeah. It's day two of us being sick. Actually, it's kind of day three. It's kind of day three. Yesterday yeah. was not, I would think I was conscious for like an hour and a half yesterday. Yeah, you were all out of sorts. So today we had some white rice. We got a yes. little challenging on our stomach. I do feel hopeful today because I feel like we're on the up and up. So I think we're going to leave tomorrow. Hopefully, that's the hope. That's the hope. We yeah. have a limited visa and I'm, we're just spending time being sick. Yeah. While we were there trying to recover, one of the staff's husbands was there and we met him. We had a you know broken English, broken Indonesian conversation. He was telling us about 
this leather working yeah. crafts that he makes. He was, you know, he said that he had trinkets and we told him that it's really hard for us to carry around any trinkets. Yeah. But, you know, we thanked him for a really good conversation. And then we went back into our room to do some work and pass out. And like two hours later, we hear a knock, knock, knock on our door. And it's the same dude with a yellow manila envelope. And I open it up and there's like these custom leather bracelets. How awesome is that? I am wearing this right now. Oh. And this custom leather wallet with two up and over loaded on he it. He had found our like exact font and logo and laser printed it into this leather and said, welcome to Garut City, Tim and Marissa note here. I mean, it spelled everything right. Just, oh my yeah. goodness, I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. He spelled kind. Marissa correct. He, yes, he spelled my this name is amazing. correctly. Now we, we have a, a keepsake forevermore from our good buddy. Yes. And we can't thank him enough for his, his friendship and his hospitality. This is, this is absolutely amazing. Okay. So, so awesome. So that warmed the soul a little bit, and then we started to feel a little bit better. So I forgot, but I have a surprise for Tim today. Clueless Tim. Yes, so I put it into his phone. It's going to be a little bit of a place to go in a half hour from here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what it is. <laughs> I'm excited. So, we headed off to the surprise. Yeah. We just arrived at the uh, little port yeah. where there's going to be a small boat that will take us to Chandi Changkwang. Marissa said, I have a surprise. You'll never guess what it is. And then we park next to that. It might be a little <laughs> beat up, but I think I know where we're going. So it was going to be our first Southeast Asian temple. Now a very, very small one, a Hindu temple from the 700s that had been rebuilt and refurbished. But still, that's very, very cool for us. And not only that, but this temple was on an island within rivers and you had to take a little bamboo raft uh, yeah, to get that was there. Really cool. by little I mean it was what a hundred yards not even <laughs> not that far yeah but we got there itself is kind of on this little hill and it's surrounded by these gorgeous trees. You can tell yeah. this is really old growth area that they preserved. But once we get up there, these school children, there was a bunch like of school girls whole bus and school boys, yeah, they were giggling and yes, and they found us fascinating. Everybody wanted to take a, a selfie, <laughs> each like in, like a one by one selfie. <laughs> Marissa's the popular one. No one wants a picture with me. I loved that whole temple experience. Yeah, it was, it was nice. so lovely. But for me, the best part of it was meeting all those school kids. Yeah. It was such an awesome, awesome 
feeling like they were so embracing and welcoming and everyone wanted to take selfies and ask where we're from and they they were so overjoyed that we were loving this little temple yeah. in western java i thought it was it was on this little island which was beautiful that you had to take this little reed raft to which was beautiful and then it's like you know this old volcanic stone building within the jungle with these huge yeah trees with like, you know, those veiny neck thing roots yeah. coming out of the ground. On top of all this natural beauty, just the, the kindness of these little kids that really wanted to Aww. take pictures with us. Marissa was kind of the more cooler of the two no, of us. No, you were cool, especially with the boys. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys from a school? Uh, Is this a field trip? Elementary school. Oh, nice. Uh, see about uh, our history, uh, Hinduism, Hinduism temple. This oh, nice. Is. Yay! <laughs> no. I got a couple high fives, but I said. <laughs> there was a little museum we walked into mm -hmm. that confused me because it looked like the temple was built in like 1968 <laughs> or something, but. It had been just rubble, kind of like some of the rocks you see around us. So until it is reconstructed, yeah. it's just a bunch of stones laying in the forest. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is kind of like how the old houses here on Java were constructed. They would have these very thin woven walls and then the roof would be made out of these bamboo planks and then thatched on top of that. It was nice, it was pretty, it was remote, it, it was just, it was a really cool surprise. I really, Aww, really thank you. enjoyed it. And then when we get back on the raft to go back, there's like a jam session, an Indonesian jam session, like yes. folk music style. Some people are dancing on the raft, yeah. and the music is so beautiful, and it's just like it's resonating guitar, across the drum. water. Another good thing about Indonesia is a lot of these little places that we've gone to, the local community also enjoys it very much. Yes. It's not just, you know, a Westerner tourist site. That's it's, right. They really appreciate what they have there. And then we had this wonderful ride to our next destination city, Majana. Pretty awesome to say the least. such a cool day at this temple, we wanted to stay at the luxurious of the luxurious. Tim's birthday was in just a couple days and I had found this hotel online yeah. and when we got there, oh man, we just hit the jackpot when it comes to hotels. This hotel is so awesome for such a good price. Man, if we had gotten sick here. Yeah, it would paradise if I was able to get sick. It was the phenomenal. It was new. It smelled nice. You couldn't smoke in it. It was amazing. The elevator was gorgeous. Yeah. Like, it, it was. It was so cool. So when we got in there, as soon as we took everything off and turned the AC on and got hit with that blast of fresh air, we're like, we're staying here two nights. And she's like, but your birthday. We yeah. I wanted to be in like Buda Buda or by your birthday. And I was like, no, no, no. This is you don't pass this <laughs> hotel up and just stay for like nine hours. This is this is a full. 32 hour hotel. Now, even though we had had such a wonderful day going to this little temple in the river, I still felt quite sick. As in, I didn't want to eat anything. The thought of food made me feel nauseous. Yeah. 
and I felt like I had this kind of lump in my upper stomach. And so once we found this wonderful hotel and I knew we were going to stay another day, I yeah. started to seriously think about my own health concerns. And I was getting a head cold. I was sneezing and snotting. It was just Aww. ridiculous. I was, you know, I was like a little sixth yeah. grader. Just so Marissa wanted to go to the hospital. The last time we had an amazing hospital experience. Yes. So, you know, we I thought maybe I this will be the same. Because I was like, we should go to the hospital more often. So that, here <laughs> yeah, we are, here we are. A, a week few days later. later. But that will all be in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one. And I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Thumb and a half. And hit the subscribe button below. Double ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace.